Hello everyone, welcome back to freepilotgroundschool.ca. This is our sixth lesson of theory of flight. We're going to be talking about stability. Stability of an aircraft is the inherent quality of an aircraft to return to its position after a disturbance. The best way to think of this is, uh, let's say a marble in a bowl. It is stable at the bottom of the bowl. The static stability of an aircraft is the initial tendency for an aircraft to return to its position. Dynamic stability is the overall tendency of an aircraft to return to its original positions through a series of oscillations. We can describe stability along three axes. We can have longitudinal stability, which is among around the lateral axes. So longitudinal stability is the aircraft pitches up, then pitches down and returns to its original position. Lateral stability is stability about the longitudinal axis. So if the one wing gets forced up by a gust of wind, it will return to its position. Lastly, uh, directional stability is stability around the vertical axis, so left and right, when aircraft yaws, and and yaws to the left and to the right. So let's look at this cartoon. We can talk about positive static stability. So if we have a cup that's upside down, let's just say the center of gravity uh, is quite low on the cup. And if the cup uh, gets upset a little bit, it will tend to uh, return to its original position, just like a ball inside of a bowl will return to its original position. Neutral stability, let's say we have a cup on the side. We move the cup. It really makes no difference. It's not going to go back, but it's not going to make things worse. It's like a ball rolling on a flat surface. Lastly, we have negative static stability. Assuming we have a cup that's upright, it has uh, a center of gravity that's quite high. If it gets disturbed past a certain point, it's just going to fall over. This is analogous to a ball on a hill. If it gets disturbed from the top of the hill, it will just keep rolling. Longitudinal stability is stability around the lateral axis, so pitch. If the aircraft suddenly gets pitched up, it will tend to return to the cruise attitude. Lateral stability is stability around the longitudinal axis, or roll. If the one wing gets picked up, let's say by the wing, wind, the aircraft will tend to return to a wing's level attitude. Lastly, directional stability, the stability around the normal or vertical axis. So yaw, left and right. Let's talk about inherent stability. Inherent stability is when an aircraft's design is so that it is inherently stable. So when it is flown, uh, according to the flight manual, there are design features in the aircraft that make the airplane stable. However, it may become unstable if there are changes in the position of the center of gravity. Let's discuss some methods of achieving stability. Let's talk about longitudinal stability. So remember that's around the lateral axis, so in the pitch. So what can affect the stability or the longitudinal stability, first off is the size of the horizontal stabilizer. Compare these two aircraft. On the top, we have a Lockwood Air Cam, uh, which by the way, if you, it looks like an ultralight, but it's not an ultralight at all. It's, uh, it's about as heavy as a Cessna 172. It's twin engine, it's built really robustly. And I had an opportunity to fly one a few times and they're absolute joys to fly. They are probably the slowest airplane out there, but a lot of fun. But you can take a look here. It's a very stable platform. And part of that stability is because of the size of the horizontal stabilizer. Look at how big those, those stabilize, the vertical and horizontal stabilizer are compared to the rest of that aircraft. It's quite big. Conversely, on the bottom, we have, I think this is called a, this is a Smith Sidewinder, which is a home-built aircraft, a sport plane. Look at how small that horizontal stabilizer is. That is because the emphasis on that design is on maneuverability and not on stability. Additionally, the location of the center of gravity has an effect on longitudinal stability. If we move the center of gravity aft, it decreases longitudinal stability, although it does uh, increase speed and decrease stall speed. There are a number of methods of uh, achieving lateral stability. So you recall that's uh, stability about or around the longitudinal axes, so wing left or wing low on either side. 
we can have a dihedral. If you look on the uh, on the right side there, dihedral, where the wing, if we look at it from the front, the wing tips are higher than the wing root. And so you can imagine that uh, if it, the aircraft gets disturbed and one wing is lower, well, there's going to be more lift on that wing and it's going to raise that wing up. It could also have a keel effect on high wing aircraft. You have a, a heavy weight, the fuselage in the middle, and so uh, we get lateral stability from the keel effect. Lastly, jet aircraft uh, often have sweep back, uh, and the sweep back actually is, uh, its primary purpose is to reduce transonic flow in high-speed aircraft, but it also has the uh, effect of increasing uh, stability in that if uh, there a yaw is produced, the aircraft will uh, return back to a nose um, or, or in a straight flight. However, this can also cause something called Dutch roll, uh, which we won't cover in this course. It's uh, beyond the, the scope of this course, but uh, these aircraft often have yaw dampers as well to prevent that. Directional stability is influenced by the size of the vertical stabilizer. So if we compare the area in front of the center of gravity with the area behind, the area behind should have a lot more area that will make the aircraft directionally stable. Uh, I mentioned earlier with float planes, uh, float planes decrease the directional stability of an aircraft because they have a considerable amount of area ahead of the center of gravity. And so if you look at a lot of float planes, they have kind of uh, different ventral fins uh, on the tail in order to increase their directional stability to overcome the, uh, the decrease in stability from the float. Let's review lateral stability is around the longitudinal axes. We can have dihedral and keel effect to influence lateral stability. Longitudinal stabilities around the lateral axes. We, the, sorry, the horizontal stabilizer uh, is the major design consideration to increase longitudinal stability. We have worse stability with an aft center of gravity. Directional stability is stability about the vertical axes and the size of the vertical stabilizer is the primary design consideration. An aircraft may be designed stable, but become unstable if we do not uh, load it properly. So it has an aft center of gravity. This is called inherent stability. What factors may reduce the stability of an aircraft? So A, small horizontal and vertical stabilizers. Yes, that's correct because large ones increase stability. Aft center of gravity, yes that decreases the longitudinal stability. Anhedral, if you recall from another lesson, that's the opposite of dihedral. That's when the, the wing tips are lower, so that will reduce stability. So the correct answer is D, all of the above. Why do heavy high wing aircraft have anhedral? So remember, anhedral is the wing tips kind of go down compared to the wing roots. A, to improve stability. No, that's not correct, uh, dihedral. Uh, improve stability. Anhedral has the opposite effect. B, to reduce stability from keel effect. So this is correct because often you will find heavy cargo aircraft with anhedral. And the reason being, you already have a, a massive amount of uh, keel effect. This leads into the C, to improve maneuverability. So what ends up happening with that high amount of keel effect is that the aircraft would be very stable, but not very maneuverable. So in this case, answer is B, and C are correct, so we'll go ahead and answer D. That concludes this lesson on theory of flight on stability. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you on our next lesson.